Douglas, uh, Frederick Douglass's son, founded Highland Beach in 1893, actually 1892. Uh, he and his wife, Laura, visited what was called the Bay Ridge Resort, which was across Black Walnut Creek here. And uh, because of the segregation laws of that time, they were escorted off the property. So he came across the little footbridge here, uh, across the mouth of Black Walnut Creek, and he met a farmer, an African-American black farmer by the name of Daniel Brashears. And Daniel recognized the Douglas name and invited him to his home, and they discussed the possibility of the sale of 40 acres of this property. And that's how Charles happened to buy the property from Daniel Bashirs. Uh, we have a copy of the letter that Charles wrote to Frederick telling him of his latest adventure in the purchase of this property and the fact that he had a piece, a lot, that he was going to sell um, to as many friends uh, or divide it into lots and sell to as many friends of the family and acquaintances as they could. And that's what he did. He had the entire place divided into 50 by 150 foot lots and he went about uh, selling them. Uh, Dr. Francis uh, was supposed to have this piece of property, but, and Frederick wanted that piece right next to the creek initially. But when he saw it, he realized uh, it would not be safe for his grandchildren to be that close to the water. So he swapped properties with Dr. Francis. And Frederick was uh, put up the money and helped to design this house. He came while it was being built. He sat here on the porch. Unfortunately, he died the year it was finished, uh, 1895. Uh, or uh, grandson of Mary Church Turrell and Judge Turrell, um, who were very good friends of Frederick Douglass. As a matter of fact, when Frederick decided to build this house on this lot, he talked to my grandmother and grandfather, Mary Church Turrell, and asked her to consider buying the lot next door so she could be a next door neighbor. And that's how she happened to buy the lot next door where our house is situated now. She, in turn, talked to Paul Lawrence Dunbar, the poet. She talked him into buying the lot on the other side of our house. So here you have Dr. Francis, Frederick Douglass, Mary Church Girl, and Paul Lawrence Dunbar, all right next door to each other. In fact, Paul Lawrence Dunbar was inspired to write the poem, Ships Passing in the Night, sitting here on this porch, looking out over the bay. Ships That Pass in the Night by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Out in the sky the great dark clouds are massing. I look far out into the pregnant night, where I can hear a solemn booming gun and catch the gleaming of a random light that tells me that the ship I seek is passing, passing. My tearful eyes, my soul's deep hurt are glassing, for I would hail and check that ship of ships. I stretch my hands, imploring, cry aloud, my voice falls deep a foot from mine own lips, and but its ghost doth reach that vessel, passing, passing. O earth, O sky, O ocean, both surpassing, O heart of mine, O soul that dreads the dark, is there no hope for me? Is there no way that I may sight and check that speeding bark, which out of sight and sound is passing, passing? 
Highland Beach Historical Commission today. It's open for tours by appointment only. Uh, we get hundreds of people coming each year to visit it. Um, we do not charge, but we do accept donations. The donations are used for the maintenance and upkeep of the building.